Hey guys! This is Cartoon Recapped. Today we'll show you a 2017 family comedy cartoon called Cars 3. Be aware of heavy spoilers. Sit back and enjoy the show. Six years after competing in the World Grand Prix, Lightning McQueen, now a seven-time Piston Cup champion, finds himself overshadowed by Jackson Storm, a rookie who is part of a new generation of race cars who use the latest technology to improve their performance. As Storm's success progresses throughout the season and attracts other rookies, most of the veterans either retire or are dismissed by their sponsors. In the final race of the season at Los Angeles, Lightning starts falling behind Storm after both of them pit it. He tries to keep up, but in doing so suffers a violent crash, leaving him badly injured and ending his worst season on record prematurely, while Storm goes on to win the Piston Cup. Four months later, Lightning, who has since recovered from his crash, decides that he will continue racing and calls his sponsors, Rusty and Dusty Rusties, who reveal they have sold Rusties to a businessman named Sterling. Sterling assigns Lightning to train under Cruz Ramirez, where he struggles to adapt to the modern training methods. After Lightning accidentally damages a simulator, Sterling tries to force him to retire. Adamant that he can still race, Lightning instead offers that if he wins the upcoming Florida 500, he can decide if he wants to keep racing, otherwise he would retire immediately. Sterling reluctantly accepts the deal. Lightning tries to train on nearby Fireball Beach, but ends up spending most of his time teaching crews how to drive on the sand. Lightning then attempts to join a race undercover at a famous dirt track called Thunder Hollow, but inadvertently enters a figure eight style demolition derby with Cruz, which she wins albeit both of them hiding their identities. Lightning's cover is blown when Cruz accidentally swerves to avoid a water truck causing him to tumble over and spilling his water on Lightning, therefore adding to his humiliation. Frustrated that he'd wasted his time taking care of Cruz, Lightning rages at her and in the process of accidentally breaks her trophy. Cruz reveals that she had wanted to be a racer just like Lightning all her life, but never started a race due to her feeling that she could never be one. She resigns as Lightning's trainer and heads back to the training center. Guilty and with no other options, Lightning calls his friend Mata for advice. He suggests that Lightning track down Doc Hudson's mentor Smokey in Doc's hometown of Thomasville, Georgia, so Lightning catches up to Cruz and convinces her to rejoin him. In Thomasville, Lightning meets up with Smokey, who reveals that despite the fact Doc never raced again, he found new happiness in training Lightning. After Lightning accepts the fact that he will never be as fast as Storm, Smokey, and Doc's old friends, Louise, Barnstormer, Nash, River Scott, and Junior, Midnight Moon, help Lightning learn new tricks to overcome his speed disadvantage, using Cruz as his sparring partner. However, during the final practice race, Cruz suddenly overtakes him and he suffers a flashback to his crash, shaking his confidence. At the race, Lightning starts at the back, but with assistance from Smokey in the pits, manages to gradually push up the ranks. Sterling, who still believes Lightning can't win, orders Cruz back to the training center to prepare a new racer for the following race, despite her wanting to stay and watch the race. Overhearing the exchange and remembering Cruz's dream of racing, Lightning avoids a massive pileup and has his crew outfit her to take his place in the race, believing she is the key to defeating Storm. While shaky at first, Cruz is able to push up the ranks thanks to Lightning coaching her from the pits, and eventually ends up right behind Storm. Storm, feeling threatened, tries to intimidate Cruz, even to the point of ramming her against the wall in the final lap. Cruz, using one of Doc's old moves, flips over Storm, overtaking him and winning the race. As Cruz celebrates her victory, Sterling offers her a role on his team, but she instead takes a counteroffer from Dinoco's owner Tex Dinoco. Since Lightning and Cruz were both wearing number 95, both have won the race, meaning that Lightning gets to decide if he is done racing. Some time later, Lightning and Cruz return to Radiator Springs, where Lightning reveals that Tex has bought Rusty's from Sterling. 
Lightning, now decked in Doc's old racing colors, decides to continue racing, but trains crews first for the season. In a post credit scene, Mater is seen singing at his junkyard and receives a call but accidentally knocks his stand over. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.